Good morning, everyone. It's March 14th, and I am so excited to be back at Children's Church. I'm so excited to see you, Joey. How are you? I'm good, Maddie. It's good to see you. Oh, it's been a great week. So, but the favorite part of my week is seeing you in Children's Church. Me too, and seeing all of our friends. Exactly. Joey, we're going to talk more about Lent today. It's the fourth week of Lent. That's right. And I hope that you kids at home are learning a lot about Lent. But let's do our children's creed first, because you can do that together with me. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe the Spirit, too, comes to teach us what to do. I believe that I can be kind and loving, Lord, like thee. Amen. Hey, Maddie, like we talked about giving things up last week for Lent. You remember that? Yeah. Well, some of us take on doing more of God's work in the world during Lent. We talked about, you know, some people collecting groceries for a food pantry or visiting lonely people, helping people in our neighborhoods, or even people across the ocean. Some of us, though, we use a giving calendar so that we can return God's blessings to us out in the world by giving one day a quarter for each day for every bottle of medicine you have in your house, or maybe every nickel every time you turn on the water faucet another day. But either way, take some of your change, put it in a special place, each time you decide on some kind of blessing with your family. Now, some people aren't so lucky. They can't just turn on their faucet and get water. So this is a good time to remember other people during Lent and having compassion for them. Right. Like Joey said, Lent's a serious time, a time to set apart for thinking, praying, giving thanks, and remembering God's gift to us so we might give generously to others. We call the day Lent begins Ash Wednesday. It was last month on February 17th. Our ashes used come from the palms we waved almost a year ago at the end of Lent when we remember the day that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey instead of a stallion. Still speaking of peace instead of leading a great army. And the people wave palms in celebration as if they were welcoming a king. We welcome the king of love. We call that Sunday... Palm Sunday. It's the Sunday before Easter. Some of those palms we fold into crosses and keep them in our homes all year until it's time. Yeah, and Palm Sunday is coming up in a couple of weeks. We'll talk about it a little bit more. But I wanted to remind you, at our baptism time, remember, think back to when you were baptized, if you have been baptized, or maybe you saw someone getting baptized. We are claimed as God's beloved children, and a cross of oil is made on our foreheads to mark us as Christ's own forever. The cross of ashes that we got on that same spot on Ash Wednesday reminds us that God made us, and we belong to God, and He loves us. May we re remember during this time who we are and who we belong to. Each day of this Holy Lent, share this Easter joy. I really enjoy this time of Lent. I think I'll do a closing prayer. Okay. Dear God, we thank you for your love, a love so great that you gave your one and only Son so that we could have eternal life. Amen. Amen, everyone. So... Keep thinking about Lent, and maybe you can make some sort of blessing jar or calendar. And remember, each day you can add something to it. It doesn't even have to be changed. That's just one idea. But just think of a way you can count down the days of Lent. It's not too late. Even though we've started, it's never too late to do something for others. All right, bye, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, Maddie. Bye, Joey.